Eastern Conference playoffs. Hi, everyone. Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Mike Fratello. Mike, Boston holds a 1-0 lead in this series. And the Celtics showed how dominant they were in game one. This is a team that only lost one time at home all season. The Bulls are up against the odds in this one. And for Chicago, they'll be hoping for another big night from Michael Jordan. Well, Kevin, in game one, he did all the heavy lifting for the Bulls on offense. The Celtics had no answer for him as he went for 49 points. We'll see if they keep looking his way as they try to even up this series. And the Bulls will start with Charles Oakley and Dave Corzine at the 4-5. And, and the point will be Kyle Macy. And on the wings, it's the fearsome duo of Michael Jordan and the Iceman, George Gervin. And the Celtics vaunted front court. Bird and McHale at the forwards with Robert Parrish in the middle. The backcourt pairing for them, Dennis Johnson and Danny Ainge. And the Bulls are in dire need to even this series. Losing by 17 points in game one. They need to make a statement tonight. Now, here's Ainge. McHale passes to Bird. That one drops for him. A mid-range master. Bird feels like no defender can stop his jumper. Pass to Jordan. Shoots over Johnson. Jordan out of the game's fast. Doesn't look shaky at all. A red-hot beginning to this game. Well, he's a real good offensive player, so they want to get him going early. First quarter to play with about a minute and a half gone. Now, here is Ainge. Lock at six. Bird, the pass to Pierce. He's now one for two with that bucket. And Clark, the Bulls can't fall down 0-2 in a five-game series. Hey, Kevin, it's hard enough to beat this Celtics team in any series, but to take three straight games from them, virtually impossible. I think you're right. Now, Corzine, following the three-point attempt by Michael Jordan. Oakley passes to Macy. Now Gervin, Bird covering. Back to Gervin. Here's Jordan. Good, and the assist goes to Gervin. Nine points for Jordan. Gervin. And Jordan with 49 points the last game. Mark, any chance you think he'll match that? I'm never comfortable betting against Michael Jordan, no. Kevin. This guy is so good and so amazing. He's got the skill and the will to do it. I think a lot depends on what kind of defense the Celtics play on. And that's going to be the thing to watch. Macy passes to Gervin. And here is Jordan. And that one drops. Jordan's got 11. And this is Jordan to a T. An active scorer who's ready to fire off the catch. Ains the pass to Bird. High post shot. That shot, no good. So the Bulls will take it the other way. And Clark, here's something that no team has been able to do. Slow down the Celtics front court. Well, there's just so much talent. Actually, too much talent at every position to be able to plug all the holes. They hurt you at both ends of the floor, too. Bird, Mikhail, Parrish, all elite players. I think someday all three will be in the Hall of Fame. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. Now with the inside on the Celtics game plan, let's send it over to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. Now, this young Michael Jordan has a lot of tools in his bag. The first thing the Celtics want to do is stop straight line drives. Guys have to rotate over and give him angles off of the basket. But Jordan is so good with his quick first move and then going vertical allows him to convert right over the top of defenses. Guys? David, thank you. In game one, the Celtics tried five different defenders on Michael Jordan. And Mike, ultimately, he got a little fatigued but not before he put up 49. <laughs> One of the assistant coaches with Chicago said about Jordan, he's got the jump shot ability of a Jerry West and the ability to go to the hoop of a Julius Irving. Pretty good people to be compared with. Phenomenal comparison. I love that. And the big question and my problem for the Celtics, how do they slow down Michael Jordan? Well, they sent a few options his way in game one. They know they need to be better and will still vary their looks. Now, here's Jordan. 16 points for him. Buries the long-range jumper. Three you know, the three shot is not a go-to shot for MJ, but his touch, still undeniable. 
There's 18 seconds left in the first. Ainge with the ball. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. Pass to Johnson. From past the arc. Here's McKeel. And no good on the last second attempt this time. And that does it for the first quarter. Bulls lead by nine. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Welcome back, everyone, to the second quarter in this round one matchup between the Chicago Bulls and the Boston Celtics. Enzo Jordan will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. They lead by their biggest margin of the game, nine. And the plan for the Bulls this series is to try and slow things down. The Celtics want to get into an up-and-down game. It makes sense with all the weapons they have. So for Chicago right now, we've got Jordan. Green is out there with Corzine. Then there's Paxson. And it's Banks in at the threesome. Now Ainge. Following the three-point attempt by Michael Jordan. Nice ball movement by Boston. And there's the bucket from Seastain. And the slower the game gets, Clark, the more beneficial that is for the Bulls. And, you know, that's not easy with all the great passes the Celtics have. The Bulls need to make sure they get back in transition because the Celtics are looking to push it every chance they get. Pushing that pace, you're right. Here's Jordan after the basket by Boston. Shot clock at six. Sinks the triple. Michael Jordan. Jordan's got the lead up to ten now for the Bulls. Tell you what, the Bulls have really done a terrific job not giving the Celtics crowd a reason to get into it at all. You know, we all know about the Boston home court advantage. They won 40 games here during the regular season. A dominating home court advantage for the Celtics this year. Here is Z-Sting. Boston needs to get off his shot. Flying his what from deep. Here's McHale. First shot, first miss. He's out of the blocks fast. Relentless on the boards. McHale will outwork any opponent. You have to try to match his level of energy. And three from Jordan. That one falls. Coming off of Paxson's speed. Jordan's got a pair of triples in the second now for Chicago. And Mike, the Celtics, as you said, so dominant at home. And that home record has everyone in the East nervous about playing them. The Celtics can make the most out of a home court advantage. Hard to see anybody taking many games here. Excellent activity and timing on the offensive glass. That's how you get extra possessions. And here's Jordan outside. Michael Jordan. And again, it's the Bulls from deep. He's letting it fly from downtown. And you can see the confidence is obvious when he shoots the three ball. And that's part of what makes him such an outstanding shooter. Yeah, no question. And I don't understand why the defense hasn't adjusted and tried to chase him off the line. You look at the numbers for Larry Bird this season, Mike, 25, 10, and 7. I mean, numbers that he's put up for several seasons in a row now. Bird has defined what the small forward position is all about. And that's six foot ten, by the way. He impacts the floor in every metric. I'm ready to call him the best small forward ever. Wow. It would take a special talent to knock him off that pedestal. And coming from you, that's high praise. No good from McHale. And the defense wasn't horrible, but still, he's got to come through there. It wasn't enough resistance to prevent him from scoring that one. Corzine the pass to Jordan. And the Bulls, another three. Three points. And as we expected, Mike Fratello, this Celtics front court has been a problem for Chicago. And this is something the Bulls won't ever have an answer to. I mean, the whole Eastern Conference didn't have an answer for Bird, McHale, and Parrish. Three future Hall of Famers in some people's eyes. Chicago leading by 15. And Mike looking at the two stars for the team. Michael Jordan right now with the edge over Larry Bird. And Jordan is a much more pure scorer than Bird. Still, you expect Bird to crank it up later if this team needs his scoring punch. And they're going to. And it's the Celtics with the ball. After Chicago picking up a basket just moments ago. Again, the miss by McHale. Chicago with the ball. They're on a 16-6 run. Green finds Jordan. 
Shoots from the baseline, and the Bulls tack Michael on Jordan. two more. Mike, the Celtics still looking for an answer to Michael Jordan. And you might see more double teams and triple teams at the Boston rate he's scoring. Out. He's on his way to another monster game scoring tonight. So the Celtics call timeout their first. Austin making some changes. Harris just checked in for Walt. Redmond comes in for Ainge. And it's Johnson in for Seasting. Chicago also making some changes. Oakley comes in for Dave Corzine. And Gerben subbed in for Banks. 104 left to play in the first half. Bird kicks to Johnson. Back to Bird. Shot clock at five. Connects on the 17-footer. Bird's got eight points. And during the season, Boston took five of the six meetings. But Boston was beating just about everyone at that rate. And three from Jordan. And again, it's the Bulls Michael from Jordan. deep. Firing on all cylinders right now. Jordan is showing no mercy and getting any shot he wants. Now the pass to Parrish. Bird with it. Over Gervin. That misses off the backboard. I'm sure he's upset right now. He had a space, had it all lined up, but just couldn't convert on the mid range jumper. Here's Jordan. Michael Jordan is now over the 40 point mark. Again, Mike Fratello in this series. Shooting. Look at the Boston defenders. They are at a loss for what to do about Jordan. He's adjusted to their adjustments. Yes. <laughs> well said. <laughs> The blend of athleticism and scoring prowess Jordan possesses is insane. He's capable of destroying teams all by himself. Shots good by McHale. Right now, it's simply the second shots that are killing him. I mean, they've got to do a better job securing the miss after playing solid defense. And it's so deflating giving up a score like that. Work hard to force a miss, and then it's all for nothing. And so it's Chicago, finishing the quarter up by a whopping 24 points. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. And we'll be back with you shortly. Third quarter set to begin as the lights of Back Bay brighten up the sky in Massachusetts. We're here in Boston for game two of the Bulls and Celtics. Second half of play getting going here in Boston. You look at the firepower of this Boston team. Three All-Stars in Berg, McHale, and Parrish. And this core has been together for their latest title runs. And now, let's go to D.A. Thanks very much. Now, we know about Larry Bird's determination at certain points, but Michael Jordan has some of those same qualities. He missed 64 games this season with a broken left foot. And Chicago management didn't want him to play anymore. But he put that foot down, citing his love of the game clause that's in his contract allows him to play whenever he wants and he said I'm going to play basketball that's what I am a basketball player he's back on the floor guys David thank you it's a great story Michael loves to play the game Mike Fratello and he rarely seems to get tired some people have speculated that because he missed a great deal of the season he doesn't have the normal fatigue at this time of year Parrish is out there with McHale then it's Bird, then it's Ainge, the and it's Johnson Bulls. in at the one spot. That's the Boston Boys. Five. And the Celtics core club won in 1984 and returned to the finals again last season. And I think for the Celtics team, anything short of a title, Kevin, is a bust. I mean, they know they're the team to beat, and they carry themselves that way. One of the most talented teams we've probably ever seen in the league. I agree. Now, here is Ainge. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Bird can't hit. Defense got all kinds of fortunate right there. 
usually he takes full advantage of that situation. I'm sure he'll take another shot at it if they keep giving him openings. And the dominance of the Celtics, Mike, have shown again this season. It feels like it's their year. They know it's championship or bust for them. They figure they'll be tested on the way and could also have to deal with their old pals, the Lakers. But all season long, they have been the front runner, and that won't change until they're knocked out. They've got the target on their back for sure. Speaking with Bird's opponents, they'll tell you he talks trash the whole time. And of course, he backs it up with his play. A difficult situation for Boston. Fires from 18. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Bird's got 13. There are very few players who can slow a score of his caliber down. Here's Jordan. Jordan had 49 in game one. And creeping up on that here. The mid-range is more or less wide open for Jordan. It's a go-to scoring area for him. Looking at the way Jordan finished the regular season, you had to know that he was on the verge of having a stellar playoff run. Scary to think how good he'll be in the coming years. Mike, his work ethic I know impresses you so much. Jordan outside. Takes the three. And Boston with the rebound. Almost 30 points per game for Michael Jordan. Mike, in the final five games of the season, an unbelievable streak. And the future for Jordan looks bright as ever. Starting to show he's more than just a high flyer. He started to develop the skills to score at all levels of the floor. Well, you sound like a coach. I know you appreciate that game so much. Looking to stretch this lead out even further, going right after his shot. And the defense continues to not be up to the Two challenge. Minutes the Two minutes. Johnson can't get it to go. Like the way this game has gone, the Celtics cannot slow down Michael Jordan. Well, they've tried some different looks in the first half, but nothing seems to be the answer for Jordan. You're right. Johnson surveying the floor. Bird passes to McHale. It's hauled in by Oakley. Oakley's got rebound number seven for him tonight. And Jordan continues to be the dominant Michael scoring Jordan. force on the floor. Kyle Mike Bird can't even keep up with him. That's no knock on Bird. That's just how special Jordan is. He is putting on an absolute show in this game. And I bet Bird is impressed too. Here's Johnson following the basket by Michael Jordan. Passes it to Bird. McHale tipped back in for two. McHale's got 14 points. Did not give up on the play. Fantastic energy. Which is what you show on all of these plays, Clark. Fantastic energy. Great job, though, following up that shot. Amen. Yeah, he turned a miss into a make. And when you look at that stacked 84 draft class, obviously there's Jordan. Some incredible talents in just their second season. And some changes here for the Celtics. Alton's checked in for McHale. And it's Easting in for Dennis Johnson. And Chicago also making a switch. Banks has checked in. Now here is Ainge. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. It's Bird, top of the key. Down low, Walton. Great play by Bird to set it up. There's the peripheral vision we talk about. Bird finding a wide open teammate. And a wide open look for Jordan. And the Bulls get it back. Macy passes to Corzine. Here's Jordan. Michael Jordan Michael with Jordan. 58, just three points away from tying the postseason record of 61. And stolen by Banks. Corzine the pass to Oakley. Here's Jordan over Bird. Jordan with 60 now. One more basket. He'll set a new playoff record. And so it's Michael Jordan making things happen for the Bulls. You're going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. 65. Final quarter of play starting in this game two matchup between Chicago and Boston. And with the injury Jordan sustained this year, he has about as fresh of legs as anyone. He showed that in game one. Here's Vincent. And Jordan sends it back. 
with defensive prowess and nearly a seven foot wingspan it's a lot harder to get a clean look on Jordan than most guys. Here's the screen. Taking a look at the Bulls. They've got Washington. Jordan is out there with Green. And it's Banks in at the three. And Jordan with the broken foot earlier this season, Clark. Boy, right now he looks 100%, doesn't he? You know exactly right, Kevin. He had some gains towards the end of the year to get himself acclimated and going again. But as you said, he looks locked in now with no holds barred on his game. No limits at all. Exactly. Here's Seasting. That three off the mark. Seasting's gone one of three from the field here. Green the pass to Holton. Here's Jordan. And Michael Jordan Michael has Jordan. broken the record for most points ever in a playoff game. What a game and what an announcement to the rest of the league. We are looking at the dawn of the Michael Jordan show. This is just unbelievable. And you know, part of the reason why the Celtics feel comfortable pushing the tempo, the development of Danny Ainge, it gives them another option to initiate the fast break. Four on the clock. Here's Seasting. And a miss there on the triple. Seasting's gone one of four from the field. Here's Jordan. Celtics and that one clearly Sam a foul. Benson. Gets the whistle and two first, shots first coming up. Foul. Mike Ainge, a player that makes a difference off the statue. The Always the doing the little thing. Michael Jordan. He's an X factor for the Celtics. He can spark the team with a few hustle plays, three pointers, a great fit alongside the rest of the Boston Stars. Terrific fit. Bulls making a switch here. Paxson's checked in. Pass to Walton. Inside. Here's Kite. Lays it up off the glass. Kite's got his first points of the night. For a big, Walton has good instincts with the ball. He knows when to give it away to a guy with a better angle. Shots good by Green. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent passing. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for him. And they need to recover as soon as possible. Here's Wedman. Pass to Walton. The shot from the low post is good. The defense is at Walton's mercy inside, able to score in a multitude of ways down there. Here's Washington. That one falls, coming off of Paxson's feed. Paxson's got four assists in the game. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Two Here's two Vincent. Two minutes. Here's Kite. And the dunk to finish it off. A ah, beauty. Sending it right back with authority. He is such an asset, Clark, to his team on the glass. Wow. Yeah, keeping the ball out of enemy hands and making sure they finish the play strong. 144 left to play here in the fourth. Edmund can't get it to go. And so here is Chicago. So far in the fourth quarter, they've allowed just six points. Defense was right up in his face there, and it spoiled his attempt to lay it in. Here is Zesting. We've got 118 left in the fourth quarter. Shoots a three. That one doesn't go. And Chicago will go the other way with the ball. Jordan passes to Green. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Such a savvy distributor. Jordan's court awareness and understanding for when his guys are open is impressive. Seasting passes to Vincent. Here's Wedman. The pass to Seasting. Over Paxson. Off the left rim and out. You know, he's taking shot after shot after shot, but still can't break out of this cold streak. At this point, it's all mental. He's in his own head, not letting the shots come naturally. Here's Banks. Drains the 19 footer. And with this last run, they have shut the door on any chance of a comeback. Shut the door 
turned off the lights and locked it up. Fantastic run for them to end the game. 15 seconds left in the game. Passes to Vincent. Over Jordan. Here is Zisting. And amazingly, the Bulls Mike have That's come into Boston game. and gotten a win. Great performance from them. And with the series tied at 1-1 in the next two games in Chicago, the Bulls now have a real look at pulling off a miracle. Well, Clark, the Celtic fans have to be feeling a little bit nervous after losing this game at home. No doubt about it, especially when they have to deal with Michael Jordan in Chicago the next few games. Jordan at home has been electric, and if he gets hot, the Celtics might not make it back home. Things have gotten very interesting. For Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you later.